Hey guys, what's going on here today? I'm walking back to something that is a little bit different. It's going to be FIFA 16 train tips, guys, ready for the game when it comes out. Like, ones you can do right at the start on the web app. Some only, like, just refresh your mind. But this one's going to be investing today, guys. And what you're going to have to, like, invest in when you, like, say if you have packs. So, say, like, when you open your um, starter packs and you get something decent, you want to keep the players. Because at the start, there'll be nothing going for, like, 500 coins on the market that's gold. Like, you want to keep them all when it the game first comes out. Like, now you're up for 400. And BPL players will, will be up to, like, 700 coins, 600 coins, like this. We see them now, they will not be on the market, like, I guarantee that if it's anything like last year. You want, what you want to do is, you, if you want to do a trade, if you want to try and bid on them if you see them up, and just bid through on them all, that's the first thing you want to do, that's the trade method for this um, episode. But I'm going to be investing in these kind of players, like the popular ones like Fabian Delph, who's going to be a good number of player to use on the team when the game first comes out and people struggle to get coins. Um, and then guys as well, um, the other one is going to be, um, obviously the... Um, the one investing in good players like Neymar, for example, last year one went for 32,000 coins. I know there's no price caps at the start, but yeah, 32k and he expired. I think he went up to 400k, I think, at the start, didn't he? Something like that. But yeah, that's like a mental profit, the person that paid that. And I was Thierry Henry here now, he was one of the first in forms out. Like, the first team that really comes out, you want to invest in those in forms and keep them there. Because like Thierry Henry now is only two on the market and one just got binned, so there's only one on the market now. And I bet now if I go and look on the market again, I am. even his normal cards are basically gone because obviously he's out of the game. Like, if I search up Thierry Henry, he. It's, still, it's gone now, yeah, it's nearly gone. He's got a bit of 32k with 7 minutes left on that card now, as I actually look at it, which is just crazy. Um, so, yeah, that is a great method there for you guys. Another one is here. The popular overpower players like David Luiz, Barbo, Marquinhos, like I just saw, like another non rare one. Players that are going to be used in teams, so obviously you can get him in a Liga Earn team, a Brazil team, team like good for hybrids. And like Hulk, another one, the best right wing for Brazil and the best Russian League one. People like using Russian League teams because they're very like overpowered players in there. But if I show you now, like right wing and Russian League, there's going to be like no one there apart from him. So, look, um, Hulk and, uh, yeah, Bystrov. I mean, obviously everyone's going to buy Hulk there. I mean, that's a great player to invest in. But yeah, guys, it is the end of the video. Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't enjoyed If you want to see more of this, comment down below. If not, then tell me. It's fine. And yeah, guys, there's going to be a new trading series coming out very soon. I'll let you know what that is in the pilot episode, which should be out on Thursday. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.